We're going to learn how to create and modify rays. A ray is a type of construction geometry. It's different from an X-line in that it only has one endpoint, and the second point goes on to infinity. We'll be placing rays using polar tracking and then offsetting some circles. We'll trim the rays and then place them on the correct layer. One of the customers where I provided some training in AutoCAD designed and fabricated parachutes used in military as well as recreational activities. The ray tool provided an optimal method to lay out their fabric designs because rays extend to infinity and parachutes can be quite large. They started each design with a circle, as you see here. We're going to be placing rays using polar tracking. I could place a single ray and then use the polar array tool, but I want to cover how to use the polar tracking tool. I cover how the polar array command works in a different video. I'm going to come down to the polar tracking tool on the status bar. I want to set my polar tracking to use increments of 15 degrees. I select the ray tool from the extended area of the draw panel on the home ribbon. I select the center point of the circle as the start point for my ray, and I go around the circle using the polar tracking increments of 15 degrees. I remain in the ray command until I press enter. Next I'm going to offset the circles using the offset command. I want the circles to be placed on the fabric layer. Notice my current layer is set to construction. That was the layer used to place the rays. I select Offset from the Modify ribbon. Then I right click and select Layer. I set the layer option to use Source. This will place the offset circles on the fabric layer. I set the offset distance to 6 for 6 inches and then I press Enter. I select the circle and then I start placing my circles. I continue by selecting the last circle placed and then selecting the side where I want the next circle to be. I remain in the offset command until I press enter. I want to trim out the rays I just placed. I select the trim command from the modified panel on the home ribbon. I press enter to use all the elements in the drawing as my cutting edge. I found that's the fastest method when using the trim command. I right click and select fence. I then draw a fence through the rays on the outside of the circles. I press enter to complete that fence. I'm still in the trim command so I right click and select crossing. I then use a crossing to select the rays inside the inner circle to be trimmed. I press enter to exit the trim command. Because I trim the rays, they are no longer rays. They have converted to lines. When I hover over each ray, AutoCAD displays the object information and shows that it's a line. I want to move those lines to a new layer. I select one of the lines, right click, and choose Select Similar. All the lines are selected. I then move them to the Stitch Line layer. I'll zoom out a little so you can admire our parachute. To recap, we place some rays using polar tracking, we offset some of the circles, we ensured the offset elements were placed on the correct layer using the layer option of the offset command. We trimmed the rays using the fence and crossing options. That converted the rays to lines. We selected the lines using Select Similar and placed them on a different layer to better organize our drawing.